These are the five most forgettable F1 drivers of all time. Number one is Rio Harianto. Harianto is the first Indonesian driver to have ever raced in Formula 1, but sadly only made 12 appearances for the sport. After the 2016 German Grand Prix, he was dropped as a third driver due to the lack of funds he was sponsoring for the team and was replaced by future race winner Esteban Ocon, who had a pointless 2016 season himself with Mana, but was able to save his career with the 2017 move to Force India. Number two is Felipe Nasa. Not to be confused with Massa, but it's Felipe Nasa. He spent two years in Sauber in 2015 and 16, and after a successful 2015 season, scoring 27 points and finishing 13th in the driver standings, 2016 was a less successful one for Nasa. His only points came at the rain-soaked 2016 Brazilian Grand Prix, where he and Sauber finished ninth in the Constructors' Championships, ahead of Mana in the Constructors. In 2017, he was set for a move to Mana, but after Mana lacked financial stability, Nasa found himself without a seat, and Mana left the sport for good. Number three is Bruno Senna. He is the nephew of the late great Ayrton Senna and spends three seasons in Formula 1 through 2010 to 2012 racing for HRT, Lotus and Williams. Though not successful in the sport, in 2012 Williams decided to replace him at the end of the season with GP2 champion Valtteri Bottas in 2013. Number four is Max Chilton. He is a British driver but spent two seasons with Marussia and we all know how that went, to be honest. And number five is Sergei Sorokin. Sorokin is so forgettable that he only spent one season in Formula 1 in the 2018 season driving for Williams. He partnered with Lance Stroll and made 21 starts for the Williams name, but after the 2018 season, he was dropped and made a reserve driver for McLaren and Renault after Williams decided to go with an all-new fresh pairing of George Russell and Robert Kubica. With F1 being as cutthroat as it is, it's no wonder that 